Hi, welcome back to Forensic Education. I'm Sergeant Mike McCutcheon and I'm going to be your instructor for today. Today I'm going to show you how to preserve two mark evidence or impression evidence. Two mark evidence or impression evidence could be left at a burglary if they use a screwdriver to open the window or a pry bar to get into a door or something like that. That evidence that's left behind you need to be able to lift. So I'm going to show you two ways to do that using Microsil and using Accutrans. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to show you how to mix and apply the Accutrans to some tool mark impression evidence and then uh, we're going to use the Accutrans to do the same thing. Now what I've done is I use these vice grips that have a distinct pattern on them and I clamp down on just some pieces of wood. So now we're going to be able to lift this impression evidence as if it were from a crime scene. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use our microsill. Now microsill comes in two separate tubes. One is the hardener and one is the actual microsill. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put my gloves on and then we're going to mix the microsill. Now what Microsil comes in different colors and this one is black so first we're going to make a black line. We're going to make an equal length line using the hardener. Then we're going to use one of our wooden spatulas and we're just going to mix those together. Now you're going to mix that together for about a minute because the working time before it starts to get harding is about a minute. So now what we would do is we'd take our impression evidence and we would put the microsill on our impression evidence. So here we have the microsill, it's on the impression left by the, the two marks. We're going to let that dry for about six minutes or so, and then we're going to lift it and we'll be able to see whether or not we got good impression evidence. Now the drawback of using the microsill is that it's messy and uh, you need to find something to mix it on. My gloves were already ruined and I just did this in, in the studio. Uh, if this were a crime scene, um, it's going to be more difficult to continuously put that on different prime marks. So I'm going to show you another product called Accutrans. Accutrans works similar to a caulking gun. What you're going to do is you have your plunger here, you slide this in. Like that. Same thing, it comes in different colors. We're going to use a brown, but it comes in black, clear, white. You can also use this to uh, lift fingerprints. You can use it to uh, put into the barrel of a gun. You would be able to pull that whole barrel out to get all of the striations that are in the barrel of a gun. We're going to click this right in. Lock that down. You can take the tip off. Now Accutrans comes with a tip that will mix them similar to how we did the microsill but the tip is actually going to mix it itself. So we're going to put that on. There's just a little notch that it clicks into. And that's going to twist in. And now it's ready to go. And then you use it as a caulking gun. You're going to just push through. Now if you see in here as it starts to come out, it's going to start mixing in the tip. And it does that automatically. So you can see that it's self-mixing down the tube. So now we're going to put that into our impression evidence. I'm going to really push it on there to make sure that it gets into all of the grooves of our impression evidence. Now we're going to let this sit just like we would with the, uh, the microsill. We're going to let that dry for a few minutes and then we're going to be able to pull that up. You'll be able to touch it and feel that it's, it's ready to be lifted. With the Accutrans, you can take off the tip Reapply the cover.
and you can save that to use for later so that you have it. You don't need to, disc you don't need to discard that every single time. So now we're going to take a few minutes, we're going to take a break, we're going to let this stuff dry and then I will lift it and we will compare it to our vice grips and see if we can do a good comparison between the microsil and the vice grips and the Accutrans in our vice grips. Okay, so it's been about six minutes. Um, our microsil is dry, our Accutrans is dry, so now we're going to peel that off and we're going to see what evidence we have. Then once we peel that off, we're going to compare it to the tool marks and now I have the known that made the tool marks so that I'm going to actually compare it with that. So we'll start with the siding and now you can see that this is hardened on here. I can touch it. It's not going to move and then you're just going to peel it and now you'll be able to see you have all the detail from the siding in that piece. Okay, we're going to try our piece of wood, the same thing. We have our known tool mark impression. We're going to peel that off. It's, you can touch it, it's not going to move. We're just going to grab a corner. We're going to peel that off. Now you have a duplicate of the tool mark impression. Okay, now we've done the, both with the Accutrans. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the, the micro sill and we're going to peel that off. Similar consistency, we're going to peel that off slow. And we're just going to take a corner. A little more delicate. And now you can see the two, the impressions in there as well. Okay, so now that we have, we lifted our impressions, our tool mark impressions, we know what the known is, which are the pair of vice grips. So now I'm going to show you a close up of the vice grips, the impression itself, and then the evidence that we recovered. So here's the top of the vice grip. We have our tool impression mark that we lifted. And then we also have the same So if you go to a scene and there are tool mark impressions, it's important that you either use the microsil or Accutrans to get that evidence. Now normally what I would do is if I had some marks like this, I would take some tape that has a scale on it and put that on there and that way I'm going to uh, take a picture of that before I lift it and photograph that uh, for evidence as well. But now that we're able to lift it, we're able to send that to the lab. If you come across somebody who you suspect is doing burglaries and has those tools, now this stuff is very easily to be stored. Um, you don't have to worry about it getting damaged and you can leave that scene thinking that you have all of your evidence and hopefully you can get a conviction. I hope this helped you out. You can buy these products at lynnpv.com. You can see more training videos at forensiceducation.net and I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining.